The man who owned a Central Valley trucking company says Salgado worked for him for two years after firing so What? You guys heard that? He says Salgado held him, his wife, and two 16-year-old girls at gunpoint. Okay, so according to Mercer County District Attorney's Office, there was a similar incident in December 2005 from the same suspect that landed Delgado in prison for charges of home invasion, robbery with a gun, witness intimidation, and attempted false imprisonment. The victims weren't hurt. He was released in June 2015. On Wednesday, Mercer County Sheriff's Office shared information on the kidnapping suspect, 48-year-old Jesus Manuel Salgado, criminal past, which includes a robbery in 2005 that led to an eight-year prison sentence. According to court papers in 2007, Salgado pleaded no contest and was sentenced to 11 years in prison for first-degree robbery, attempted false imprisonment, and, ooh, and dissuading a witness. Does that mean, like, after the fact, like, they're trying to, like, get the witnesses not to come forward? 48-year-old. Like, Whoa! This guy looks so different details here. Details regarding the past of out. the man suspected of kidnapping that family. And this morning, the sheriff said during that press conference that 48-year-old Jesus Salgado had a criminal past, including a robbery from 2005. So this must be his 2005 picture, I guess? Looking a lot younger compared to now. That led to an eight-year prison. Also, his tattoos look like they were colored in. Sentence. Investigative reporter Madaris Babb joining us now live in studio. Madaris, you actually talked with a man who says that he was the victim of that 2005 robbery. He says Salgado held him, his wife, and two 16-year-old girls at gunpoint. That's right, Brian, and the victim did not want to be filmed on camera. He also did not want to be identified in any way, but he says that Salgado, quote, has no soul and described the terrifying moments. The man says Salgado showed up to his home in a mask with a gun. Just a day after Merced Sheriff officials arrested 48-year-old Jesus Manuel Salgado, documents revealing his shocking criminal past. According to court papers in 2007, Salgado pleaded no contest to first-degree robbery, attempted false imprisonment, and dissuading a witness, and was sentenced to 11 years in prison. Our station began investigating, went to the home that was the scene of the 2005 robbery, and managed to find the man who says he and his family were victimized. We spoke on the phone because he's still afraid in any way to be associated with what happened 17 years ago. The man who owned a Central Valley trucking company says Salgado worked for him for two years after firing so What? You guys heard that? So this previous victim worked for a trucking company as well. Salgado, the man, the 2005 robbery, and managed to find the man who says he and his family were victimized. We spoke on the phone because he's still afraid in any way to be associated with what happened 17 years ago. The man who owned a Central Valley trucking company says Salgado worked for him for two years. After firing Salgado, the man says the suspect showed up to his home in a ski mask one December night. The man said over the phone, quote, I went to shut the front door when he pulled out a gun and held it to the back of my head, end quote. The homeowner says Salgado duct taped the hands of himself, his wife, their 16-year-old daughter, along with his daughter's friend. According to the man, Salgado then reportedly, quote, stole all the money we had, rings, that kind of stuff. The man says Salgado even took the ring off his wife's finger before he, quote, made the girls jump into the pool and he tried to push me into the pool. I was able to jump into the shallow end instead of the deep end, end quote. Once in the pool, the man says Salgado told them, quote, if you call the police, I will kill you, end quote. The man says Salgado then walked out the front door. Now, the man that I spoke with says they did call police and they say that Salgado was arrested that next morning. According to the California Department of Corrections, Salgado spent eight years in prison and then served three years on probation. Medeiros, I got to know, you know, how is this gentleman feeling know that he and his family survived this nightmare and that another family is going through this nightmare right now? And that's something that I did ask him. Now, he's obviously reliving this moment, him and his family. He said that when he initially saw the photos and then heard the name, he realized that it was the same man, but he was just shocked to hear what happened, especially to another family just like his own. Mm. And how's the 
how's that first family doing after such a traumatic event? What's the impact been on them? One of the things that he said, and I can relate to this because I'm such a father's daughter, he said, it wasn't about me, it was about my daughter. And from that moment on, it just affected that 16-year-old's life forever. She also had a friend there. And the man that I spoke with just said, it was so heartbreaking to be a father and have to watch your daughter go through something like that. But it is really, really chilling. And great work digging through all of this to be able to yeah. get that for us. Uh, Medeiros, thank you so much. Wow. What a what a clip. Uh, holy crap. The man who owned the Central Valley Trucking Company. I thought, but the family, the family clip that I saw, the family had said, correct me if I'm wrong, the cousins or whatever, they said that this guy, Salgado, is not an employee. The current victims, not the previous victims. The current victims, I mean, or, or did they not realize he was a previous? I, I don't know. Because I'm thinking, like, did he do the same thing here? And is the reason he d he decided to kill this family is maybe he didn't want to go back to jail or something? Said Salgado worked for him for two years. After finding Salgado, the man said Salgado showed up to his home with a ski mask one night in December 2005. I went to shut the front door, said the man, when he pulled out a gun and held it to the back of my head. The homeowner said Salgado duct taped his hands of him. Wait, duct taped the hands of himself his wife, his 16-year-old, and his daughter's friend before he stole all the money. We had rings and all that kind of stuff. Manta Salgado even took... So, like, he's robbing them, but he, he's doing it because of this being fired. Vendetta, seems. Maybe he got the night a job. That's a, that's a good uh, possible theory. Maglove said that. He made the girls jump in the pool. What's the point of that? And then tried to push me in the pool. Once in the pool, the man said Salgado told him, if you call the police, I will kill you before walking out the front door. The man said he, they did call police and Salgado was arrested the next morning, according to California Department of Corrections. Salgado spent eight years in prison in 2015 and then spent three years on probation. Wow. And this guy, this, this, you know, this former victim, he's still haunted to this day, which I don't blame him. He doesn't want, even want to be seen on TV. He, I mean, he spoke up, but he doesn't want, want his face or nothing on TV. Wow.